Often you need to invite coworkers to translate a document, but they don't have InDesign or they want something simple to use. The simplest and quickest way to translate an InDesign document is by using the translation tool integrated in Vedacum. I'm using this file to give you an overview of the process. As you can see, the content of this file presents different styles and style changes that, of course, we want to keep in the final translated file. I'll save the file in IDML file format and upload it in Redocool. Here we are in Redocool. Let's click on Upload Document and select the IDML we just exported. We set the source language. Mine is English. Right now, Radocon is extracting the text from your InDesign file and splitting it into segments. Radocon creates a new segment anytime it finds a hard return or a tabulation. If you need to wrap a sentence inside your InDesign document, please consider the use of the soft return character. With the soft return, Radocon creates a single segment and shows the translator where the text has been wrapped. Notice that this is very helpful for the translator to locate the text properly. Using the soft return character is very simple, just type shift plus return. Once you upload a file into Redocon, you can translate the document yourself, just select the language and set me as a translator, or quickly invite someone else to do the job. Redocon automatically notifies the translators via email and integrated notifications. Once they accept the job, you'll be notified via email and you'll be able to monitor the translation progress from your account. Redocon saves translations in a database and suggests them for future use. These translation memories are private and linked to the user who uploaded the document. When you invite your translators to work on a document, Redocon automatically gives them access to the translation memories. This speeds up the entire process since they won't have to translate each sentence more than once. When the translation is done, you receive an automated email notification from Redocon and you can download the translated file. Here we have the file we just translated. Let's put it next to the original one and check the results. As you can see, the translated file we downloaded from Redocon has the identical layout and size of the original file. 